Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather and let's nerd out on some leather wallets and leather belts. Here's some of the items that are in the video today. An English Tan Dublin Bugs Moran, brand new special small batch Garnet Shell Cordovan Johnny the Fox with a reverse interior. A natural shell Cordovan Johnny the Fox with a reverse interior. An English Tan Dublin Horween Leather Belt. A black Chrome Excel Horween Leather Belt. English Tan Dublin Comb Sheath with a carbon fiber comb. A Color 8 Reverse, Frank the Enforcer, a Black Shell Cordovan, Tony the Ant, and a Natural Chrome Excel Fat Herbie. All right, I wanted to start off here with three different monogrammed wallets. This first one is an English Tan Dublin Bugs Moran, and I love the grain character on this English Tan Dublin. Every time I see it, I get super excited, and I'll give you a look at the inside as well. That really great color of the English Tan Dublin. It reminds me of my favorite Shell Cordovan color, the Amaretto Shell. It's got that nice vibrant orangey tan shade. It's like a subtle brown with a little bit of orangey vib vibrance to it. This one has been personalized for NHB. Thank you so much, NHB. I can't wait for you to have this one. And here's another Johnny the Fox. This one's also been personalized for BIC. And this is the special small batch Garnet Shell Cordovan Johnny the Fox that we have available right now. I think there's four of these left and we only made seven. And this is a really special piece of garnet shell on the outside with a reverse interior. And the garnet shells are probably some of the nicest shells that I've ever seen, which is why we put them into this special small batch. Take a look at how smooth and shiny and just rich the, the leather looks. It's a remarkable piece of shell cordovan, just something special about it. And each piece of shell cordovan is hand finished by Horween Leather. And they're all a little bit different. They're all degrees of nice. And this one is just an extremely nice piece, super, super smooth. And I wanted to show you the reverse interior again. I love reverse interiors for how they wear in. And I just think they're a little bit more easily filled in and polished in once this gets worn. Uh, so I prefer a reverse interior or at least one of the card sides to be reverse shell cordovan. I'll give you a look at the last John of the Fox here. This one is natural shell cordovan. It's the lightest shell cordovan color. You get a really dramatic patina on this color. And this one's also a very nice shell. Take a look at the bright, shiny, mirror-like finish. And this one's been personalized for JC and with a Color 8 Reverse interior also. And they're all random. I love the Reverse Color 8 because of all the random die marks and all the random color range and a little bit of an opportunity to show off the Horween Ink Stamp most times. And speaking of showing off the Horween Ink Stamp, this is a Frank the Enforcer in the Color 8 Reverse Shell Cordovan also. And take a look at the back of it here. This one blew me away. I just love this random die mark on the top piece there. Usually they're not that big of a die mark. Usually they're smaller, smaller little splatters like on the top right of the front side here. But this one is exceptional on the back. And there's that ink stamp from Horween that we're able to show off a little bit. I wanted to give you a look at a couple belts that are going out today. This is a black Chrome Excel belt. And the Horween Chrome Excel makes for a very comfortable belt, as does the English Tan Dublin that I have coming up next year. I wanted to show you this one. We don't offer the black Chrome Excel on the website, but we had a couple special requests for them. I'm actually out of black Chrome Excel belt weight uh, right now. So if you want one of these, I can do it for you. It might have to wait a little bit. And this one, in addition to the black Chrome Excel being a little bit different than what we normally do. This one has a silver buckle. Most of the times we have an antique brass finish on the buckle, which is more of this golden color on the buckle you see here. And this one is English Tan Dublin. We were out of stock of the belt weight English Tan Dublin for a very long time. Uh, and with COVID happening, it was hard for the tannery to fulfill our belt weight order. And even for them, not all leather is thick enough to be able to be made into this eight to nine ounce English tan Dublin. So it's kind of tough for them to do is, and then throw in the pandemic. It took a little bit longer than we wanted for some of these belts. So it had a few people that have been waiting for over a month. And this customer has been waiting a while, very patiently. Thank you so much for waiting. I can't wait for you to have this belt. And I have another English tan Dublin piece here. This one's a little different. It's not a wallet or a belt. This is a comb sheath in the English tan Dublin that I like very much. And let me give you another little close up because the grain character on this Dublin is extraordinary. You don't get a lot of leathers that are not as neutrally finished as this one. It's very much an aniline finish for this English Tan Dublin. And that means that there's no solids in the finish itself. It's not like a painted finish, like you find a lot of leathers. 
and the paint sort of fills in all these little hair holes. So you might be able to see the very fine detail of the grain that often gets covered up in many leathers, but the Horween Dublin is an aniline finish. I think it's extraordinary. This comb sheath goes with this carbon fiber comb. And let me give you a look at the sort of father son here to round off the day. We've got the Tony, the Ant, and a Fat Herbie. And I want to show you this natural Chrome Excel Fat Herbie. And there's something special about an extra large context of leather, like on this natural Chrome Excel Fat Herbie. A really big piece of Chrome Excel for the bill slot on top of another big piece of Chrome Excel for the center. And there's just something magical about seeing such a large piece of leather. I just think it makes, it's just like a work of art just uh, looking at all the grain character by itself, just the highs and lows in color. And even on the Chrome Excel, it's so well tanned, full of oils, waxes, and greases uh, that it just looks really rich. So this is really special. The Fat Herbie's the first wallet style that we started uh, making Ashland leather about 10 years ago. And we had a lot of people that loved this style, but they wanted it a little bit smaller form factor. So we took the same aesthetic shrunk it down and that's how the Tony the Ant came about. And this is a Tony the Ant in a really nice piece of black shell cordovan. And something's happened to me this year. I've just been getting more and more into the, the classics, like this black shell cordovan and the color eight shell cordovan. There's something magical about these classics. And maybe it's because I've been spoiled a bit and maybe we've all been spoiled on this YouTube channel, seeing all sorts of different colors and textures of shell cordovan. It's almost, like going back to the basics uh, feels good to me right now. And just, I mean, the results on this Tony the Ant, I think that's a really sleek look. And let me give you a look at the interior of this Tony the Ant because I love this black reverse piece in the center right there. And the reverse side of the shell cordovan, the black color, is this greenish shade. And we purposefully cut the ink stamp into that visible section in the center. I think that looks really great. So, so many great wallets today. I'm gonna actually make this one my stunner. And I don't know how many times I've actually picked a black shell wallet as a stunner, but this one is so clean and so nice. I just thought it was a great way to end the video. So thanks for checking it out. Until next time, I hope you guys have a good one and take care.